Hello, today I'm sharing a couple of purchases I made at Bath & Body Works with you guys and um, I didn't technically need any candles. I just had an um, opportunity to take part in a great sale that they had and a coupon on top of that. So the candle sale was half off the regular price and then the coupon was 40% on top of that. So you can get a feel for what a great deal I got on these candles. And the first ones I'm going to show you are the fall ones and then I'll follow up with three non-fall candles. Okay, I guess I'll just jump right in. The first one um, is Cider Lane, which I have heard a lot about, but didn't know much about this candle. It has this very beautiful embossed uh, maple leaf on its lid. I believe that's a maple leaf. And it smells so good. I kind of thought originally Cider Lane would not be what this is turning out to smell like to me. So I was really glad to hear that others liked it so much enough that it made me look it up when I was in the store to check it out. Let's see. Okay. And I'm going to read the set descriptions and just my initial thoughts on each of these candles. And there's interesting cloudy day going on, so the light's going to be shifting here and there some. Okay, so Cider Lane is warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. It got me at the warm caramel. Um, I love caramel scents. Granny Smith apple, kind of a yummy tart apple, and dark brown sugar, ground clove. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Okay, oops. And it smells like that to me just what that scent description was. So I can't wait to try that one. That's one. Okay. The next couple ones are these really beautiful, kind of like hammered um, lids, kind of like a bronzy color. Um, and this one um, is an heirloom apple. You can see that. Um, and the title, or the description there, the name of it is on the top because the sides have these beautiful fall leaves. I'm just like knocked out by this in a good way. I mean, when I say didn't knock me out or knocks me out, I'm meaning like that in a good way. Like it, um, that if it had knocked me out, I would be loving it. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. Heirloom apple. I've been really in the mood for apple scents lately. This says red Cortland apple, creamy sandalwood and marshmallow. That just sounds amazing to me. Um, and I'm still learning what it is people are talking about on the bottom of the um, the jars, like the A2. Different people want to, to see and know what the candles are, so I'm kind of thinking like you can see and look at what you want to see there. I'm not sure what, um, I know it's like a batch number or whatever, and that it can be helpful. But I really like this candle. It just smells amazing. So a little bit of sandalwood in there too with a... Uh, the marshmallow that just sounds absolutely lovely like I couldn't figure out like why wouldn't I want that candle so good okay here's another one think of that um, hammered lid the caramel woods this just sounded super interesting to me let's see oh it smells so good and look at the beautiful candle I can't even get over this come on that is just lovely beautiful I won't want this, to, even if I don't really like that, I just think this going to be a beautiful burn. A beautiful burn. This says, it's got rich caramel. Pull it up here so if you guys want to see more. Rich caramel, buttery toffee, autumn oak, tonka bean, and saffron. That sounds lovely to me. It sounds so good. So good. I can't wait to try it. Very interesting. Very interesting. So that will be fun. Okay. The next are the ones that have the embossed pumpkin copper lids are just gorgeous. Let me start with this one. This is pumpkin woods. Oh, let's see here. 
then here is the, um, the gorgeous lid. But look at these labels. It's like got a foil background. That is beautiful. That's really, um, say beautiful, but it's so cutesy. How cute is that? It's like a little bunch of pumpkins on the ground, fall leaves, and then the owl sitting on the pumpkin. I mean, I love that. So pumpkin woods. This has woodland spruce, cedar, clove buds, and smoky vanilla. And this one is super interesting to me. I think that this is the one the sort of lady was talking to me about how it's a really interesting scent and that when she burned hers, she said um, that these different notes came out at different times. And like she would be walking by and she would um, smell the spruce at one time and another time, smell something totally different. I thought that was very interesting. Let's see here. And then, and that looks like it's close to the bag, but it's not, it's not. <clears throat> okay, this one, um, pumpkin French toast. <laughs> These labels are very, very cute. I love the little bird in the tree, the little house, and then that little squirrel holding a pumpkin. He has a scarf on, come on. And the little bird in the tree, another one. And this is so yummy smelling. Another um, embossed pumpkin. Gorgeous. Here's the notes. Warm maple syrup, pumpkin spiced, and caramelized brown sugar. Gosh, you guys, I really am loving the maple syrupy scents. Like, I can't get enough of it. Pumpkin spice and caramelized brown sugar. That just sounds really, really good. And I hope it smells just like how it smells on cold. I mean, I got all of these for like, I think these ones, these fall ones were $7 and some change maybe. You can't get that good of a deal on a three wicks at TJ Maxx. Hardly anymore. Um, Caramel Pumpkin Swirls, the next one. Beautiful linen. The fox, come on, he's so cute. <laughs> and a white pumpkin in a cute little house. Fresh pumpkin, warm caramel, grated cinnamon, and vanilla bean. Let's see what this smells like. Oh, it smells so good. To me, you guys, this smells really good. This one I'm really excited to burn. I wonder if I want to try this one today, maybe. Okay. And then, finally, of my fall candles. This is pumpkin coconut. Oh, gosh. <laughs> They're having a little pumpkin discussion here, I think. Those little squirrels. <laughs> How cute. Oh my gosh. This one, oh, it's kind of almost got a nutty um, undertone to it. I mean, plus everything else, but the nuttiness jumps out at me. I don't know if that's supposed to be the case. Oh, yum. Oh my gosh. Um, look at how like this little hillside, the slope of that little hillside there. <laughs> and then look at the little tree and the little bark, the lines on the bark. Okay, I'm like getting distracted by all the little details and the cutesiness of this. I cannot bear it. I can't take it. Cannot. So let's see what these notes are. Spiced pumpkin, toasted coconut, creamy vanilla, and sea salted caramel. Oh, this one. Okay, this is so weird. When I first saw this, I'm like, ooh, I'm not going to like that. No reason for that. No reason. Just that was my thought. Like, I don't know that it could be, like, I would love to have a good pumpkin coconut scent so much that um, I knew I would probably be disappointed. And I know that this has been around before. I've heard that this was out um, in past years, but it's brand new to me. All of these are. 
you guys, this smells really good. And I have got to stop. I am horrible about, um, like these candles are all such yummy smelling treats to me. Um, and some have a little bit more of a refreshing scent within them too. And I, I'm so excited for those as well. But, um, is it like not wanting to focus right? Because of, anyway, I, uh, I'll tend, I can guarantee you, I will tend to want to save these and not burn these right away. And there's no reason for that. I'm going to need to just burn these and enjoy them. What am I waiting for? Come on. Okay, and then veering off the fall and autumn trek here a little bit, um, I was tempted by these guys. And this is one of those cases where I'd love any feedback if you guys have it. I picked up three candles that sound amazing, but upon further investigation and research, <laughs> that sounds so official, <laughs> sounds so nerdy. But like seriously, you know how you get on YouTube or you go to a, uh, your wax group and you ask and look around. Um, I didn't ask in my group yet, in the groups yet. Um, but you ask and you find out after the fact that everyone's like, these were ho-hum, nothing to write home about and not that great and like sometimes uber disappointments. So let me just jump right in. I got two of these guys, two strawberry cupcake. And to me, this kind of scent right here is like, just, I mean, like looking at it, White Barn Strawberry Cupcake with a super classy, beautiful label on gorgeous, gorgeous glass. But you know what? It's just not overly uh, knocking me out. It's not like, I'm not dying over it. But I still thought, gosh, strawberry cupcake. Because you guys know how it is. There's times where um, you get a, a, a scent and it doesn't smell all that great. But when you get home and you light it, it, it comes alive, so to speak. And then you get the real gist of it. Like right now, it's smelling kind of good to me. And what I mean is like, I don't, I'm a little nervous I'm going to be really disappointed in this. Because my thought is... Strawberry cupcake sounds like an amazing scent. I've always loved strawberry cake. So therefore, strawberry cupcakes too. Like, what could possibly be wrong with that? So I was talking to the ladies about it. And I asked them if they had any experience with this. And they, the one said, um, and this was at checkout. The one said, um, this is almost going to smell to you probably more like a cotton candy. Like a pink cotton candy scent. And I thought, Really? Well, I said that. I said, really? Um, and then I, the other lady kind of chimed me. She goes, yeah, it'll smell kind of like a cotton candy. A little bit more than a, probably a strawberry cupcake. And I thought that was so interesting because these were on the on a different clearance rack. And I remember feeling like, I thought I like struck it really well. Like I found a little like hidden gem among the masses there. And I just thought, oh gosh, how do these happen to be here? What a find only to kind of find out that it may not be that great. So I would love any honest feedback on this because I might take these back. Like, I don't, I don't know why would, th would this, this one be subpar to like say these other ones over here. I don't know why, um, that they would be like falling short of anything there. And then the final one is pomegranate lemonade. And I smelled this and this was only a couple of these. There's a lot more strawberry cupcake. And this is like totally like screaming tart lemonade to me. And I can kind of sense a pomegranate or something else, like a berry or pomegranate smell on top of a super, super tart, like tart, tart. But like, I love that. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Again, though, people weren't like um, going crazy over this. Oh, and I'll read the, the strawberry cupcake notes after this and then be done. It says, a fragrance inspired by <clears throat> an ice cold glass of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Oh my gosh. Pomegranate nectar and a touch of sugar. <sighs> that sounds like there's nothing wrong with that to me. It sounds amazing. So, but then again, people were like, uh, uh, you know, ho hum, whatever, nothing too great. So I'd love your guys' thoughts on this. And then strawberry cupcake. Let me, um, would you these notes? It says the irresistible fragrance of buttercream frosting, yum, made from fresh garden strawberries, yum, on a classic Madagascar vanilla cupcake. And now I did add in the yums there. 
if you weren't reading along with me. Madagascar Vanilla <laughs> Cupcake. Does that not sound totally amazing? So if this doesn't smell like that, it smells like cotton candy. If it's even a good cotton candy, maybe I could take that. You guys, what do you think? Um, because I want to be loving my candles. I don't want to be wasting my money even on a good deal of candles. And why would White Barn make candles that they're not going to be like, that they're going to be like so good? So, um, any honest opinions there would be greatly appreciated. I am still excited. I think these are beautiful. That's a beautiful little label. Um, just kind of simple, simplistic, and classy. In fact, all of these candles today, all of them, I love the labels for different reasons. But, <clears throat> gosh, I don't even know what I would love the most, though, honestly. Because, like, these guys over here, super cute. And then these leaf ones over here, super gorgeous and beautiful. I just really do love them all. So, I thank you so much for watching. This is my little um, splurge today, or this uh, week, on candles. And it, I feel like I'm super, super set for the fall. And I've got some little sweet treats over here on the side that we'll see how those go. Um, so curious your thoughts if you guys have any. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.